Here we go. It is time to finally reveal the latest Extreme Team project. For the past few days, Mark Peterson and the whole team have been upgrading the lobby in Spokane's Northeast Community Center. The plan has been in the works for years, actually, going as far back as 2011. Let's go live to Mark Peterson now. And Mark, we are all excited to see this big reveal. What turned out as scribbles on paper is a forethought of what should be done has now been done. All right, here's the before video. This is what it looked like a couple weeks ago. Want to let you know that it was the lobby. There was not much going on 20 years ago. It was a little bit of a library. And of course, we had a couple computer stations and a desk where it was free stuff. All right, now. Join me live as I show you what we've done with, again, this is a beautiful wall, all custom built, Windsor plywood up uh, on Lions, cut everything for us, helped us with that. Again, Kapal Stoneworks for the new bench. This is a stand up or sit down area where they can have a conversation, have a cup of coffee, and then Miramac Metals, custom cut and Stu Lee put in the beautiful wainscot that's all metal, combining, again, the wood, the rock, and the metal. I don't know, I just loved it. All right, so we come into the new computer station, new paint from Rada Paint, and now we have the TV, video only, and then again, Noise Frog, put it up and it's beautiful. That'll be used for a couple of different things. They can put schedules on it, they can use it for training videos, but it's multiple use. Now, here's what you've come to see. All right, so we got our boys from Bowden. Building community, that's true. Guys, would you please lower that down? All right, this is the new coffee area that uh, we've been working on. SOK Architects started helping us. Come in here, Dave. Come over here. Started on this project, what, a couple of years ago on, on the thought of what it would be. And you can go around and take a look. We've got, again, the machine in which, you know, the espresso machine. We've got the grinder. And Daba Coffee was helped in the beginning of the stages, too. SOK came in, drew this up. How much input did you have, or, or how did that work? I will tell you what I've learned is that the best way to get good stuff is to stay out of the way <laughs> and, and listen to experts. <laughs> okay. And he's looking at SOK, S -OK, Bowton Construction, all the people that came together to make this happen. Um, you got a grant to make this happen. Gene Farmer was the one who had this on a piece of paper and said, coffee? question mark and now it's come to this that's why it's called Gene's Beans. Yeah. Tell me a little bit about Gene and Gene tell me the, about uh, the last yeah, couple of years. Absolutely. So Gene was the executive director here for 28 years and she was looking for ways to improve employability of residents and so this job training program kept coming back kept coming back kept coming back she retired 2016 we picked up that we had Gonzaga School of Business work things out for us my good friend Mark uh, signed on, Bowton signed on, SOK signed on, and here it is reality. We're going to be starting our first uh, job training program for youth 16 to 24, teaching them soft skills of employment. Okay, and, and it's a choice of, they, they can learn this and become baristas. I mean, as you look at this, is all it's all upscale, it's all professional, Department of Health, all of this is going to be done in order not only to serve them and train them and see if this is what they want, but they can work in grocery stores, restaurants. It, it will open up a lot of doors for them, but also it's going to be a service to how many people a day come through? I, I heard 700. Yeah, yeah, we've got over 700 clients. We have 106 yeah. employees that, that are here <laughs> that definitely need caffeine. Okay. So not as much as you and me right now. That's so true. All right, so once again, let, let's back out of this and just give me a nice slow shot as we look around oh talk about the wall bring it back this is beautiful um, shamrock machine came up with that uh, young man the silhouette throwing up the stars what will these stars represent so this is part of our donor wall it gives us a chance to uh, to recognize those that have had impact on the work that we do and those that have come before us and so there's a, a star in honor of, of Carrie Wilches who was our development director here uh, worked with a lot of years and sometimes you got to slow down long enough to say thank you and that's exactly what this is going to allow us to do right so you're the executive director you've been here for a number of years it's been a hundred or eight um, your staff has been unbelievable I want to thank you for them they've been great through this whole process are they going to be able to reorganize and get what they need done out of the fishbowl? Oh, jeez. Probably going to be all right with that. What is this? But you know what, Mark? You have done so many things in this community. It's it's not just a coffee shop. It's not just a baseball field. It's not just a motorized cart or a or a 
a ramp for a veteran. I mean, you are the heart and soul of what we have going on, and so we have a, a little just appreciation for you, uh, for your dedicated service with the Extreme Team, KXOY, uh, the Northeast Community Center recognizes all of your work. Thank you very much. All right, so I walk away with something for my wall. I walk away with something in my heart. Thank you very much. We're going to have, uh, again, more extreme team, of course, but I want to thank everyone from the bottom of my heart who helped who I didn't get to mention. Guys, I'm going to throw it back to you, but i got to tell you, this project turned out beautifully. It sure did. And that Jeans Beans looks amazing. It like, does. Yeah, like a real professional yeah. coffee We're ready. Shop. Yeah, we want to try it out. And Mark, so, so deserved after all of that hard work.